What's going on YouTube? It's Blonded here coming at you with episode two of our Falcons franchise. If you happen to miss episode one, I have left a link to episode one down in the description so you can get caught up on all things that we're doing with the Falcons franchise. Just a few reminders before we get started. First, if you do like the videos, please like and subscribe. It greatly helps the channel and greatly helps me grow as I'm building this out. And second, I am live streaming these on twitch.tv. Uh, so you can come join uh, the fun of Falcons Franchise live. Come hang out and chat. You can find me at twitch.tv slash blonded underscore bets. Hope to see you there. Let's get into week two. All right, we have week two of our Falcons Franchise here. Week one, we did take the L 29-21, a couple really unfortunate turnovers, to be honest with you, uh, both in the, in the red zone, which wasn't helpful. Uh, we had a, a quarter L fumble on, I believe, the six-yard line, um, and we had a uh, Marcus Mariota fumble as well, uh, dropping back to pass. Um, again, if you missed episode one, link is in the description, but let's get into week two here. So not much really to do as far as, you know, uh, like talking to reporters or um, scouting or even re-signing players. Uh, really, this is going to be pretty, pretty much all gameplay. So we're facing the Los Angeles Rams. Now, obviously, if you remember last week, we did get that minus three pass block and minus three um, pass block finesse as well. Uh, and we're going against Aaron Donald. Um, luckily, they do not have Von Miller this year, but that's going to be a tough stop uh, for our offensive line here. So let's hop into our weekly strategy, uh, figure out what we want to do for this week. Um, if you remember last week, uh, you know we, we did pretty well, I think, on, on defense, um, except on third downs. Third downs was really our, our issue. We tried to stop the short pass last week. I think for this week and, and with the Los Angeles Rams, um, let's try, let's do the medium pass, I think, is, is going to be our best bet here. Um, stop those kind of dig routes over the middle. Um, stop Stafford from getting going. Obviously, Cooper Cup is going to um, get his when, <laughs> when, when he is, but uh, we need to make sure that we limit Cooper Cup from um, completely taking over the game. So let's defend medium pass here. Um, hope for the best. It will. Obviously, you see the, the minus is there, um, the linebacker and DB run support. Uh, that's not going to be great, uh, but I think you know if we're going to pick our poison with the Rams, we want Cooper Cup and, and Stafford to uh, be less effective. As far as player health, um, I am going to start going half pads. Uh, you know, Injuries are something we have to keep an eye out for. Half pads usually try to limit those, so let's do half pads here. So on the offensive side here, um, you know, obviously Jalen Ramsey is someone you're going to have to uh, really try to, you know, <laughs> not get beat by. Um, he, he's one of the best corners in the league. They have overall a really strong secondary. Um, and as well, you know, Aaron Donald, as we've talked about here. Um, so for our offensive game plan, um, you know, we don't have great wide receivers. Uh, Jalen Ramsey is going to win those matchups there. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're really going to try to pound the rock uh, this week with CP and Algier. So let's do um, a run inside uh, there. And player health, again, we will do half pads to try to avoid some injuries. Um, let's look at our goals now uh, for the week. Uh, let's start over with the head coach. Uh, win by 17 points is probably going to be a little bit of a stretch there. Um, I think win turnover battle, again, this is a focus that we want to have throughout the season. Win the turnover battle gives us a chance to win. Um, let's do that for our head coach. Um, offensive, I think we'll do, let's, let's stretch to 300 offensive yards. Um, I think we went over the 300 mark last week, obviously facing a little bit of a tougher defense in the Rams this week, uh, but 300, you know, should give us a chance to win there. And then on the defensive side of the ball, let's continue to do 24 points or less. Um, and then weekly game plan. Uh, let's try, um... Let's get one interception. I think you know Stafford's been known uh, to kind of let it rip sometimes, uh, not always to the right jersey. Um, so let's try and get that interception. And then again for focus players, we're going to continue our three here. We have London, Ritter, and Ebikete, um, all young players that we want to continue to develop. So we will start training here. All right, so offensive we seem like we escaped some injury here. Uh, no injuries on that side of the ball. And then on the defense, again, we are not seeing any injuries, which is best case. And we see that extra focus XP there for Arnold Ebikete. Um, hopefully he can continue to develop there. 
so yeah, with that, I think we're ready to jump in uh, to week two here. I don't think there's anything we really need to change on the roster side. Um, we can we can look at that after week two here. But let's jump into a game here. We got the Los Angeles Rams at SoFi Stadium. Uh, beautiful stadium. If you fly into LAX, you actually get to go right past it. Um, the landing strip's pretty near there. Uh, it's a really, really cool way in. And here comes Sean McVay. The little prodigy coach here. Looking at last week, uh, Bobby Wagner, nine tackles, one INT. Big pickup for the Rams this offseason, really. Um, good leader, good mentor, uh, veteran presence. But then we have our Dirty Birds here. Corderell looking good. And we got a little bit of pregame festivities. Falcons getting ready to go out. Now in real life, this was a, this was a pretty interesting game in real life. Um, <clears throat> the the Rams jumped out to a huge lead, uh, came came out, kind of you know beat the brakes off the Falcons, but the Falcons fought back, and that's something that I think the Falcons are doing really well this year is um, continuing the fight, continuing to claw themselves back into games, um, and you know it's it's good to see because I think the Falcons have a little bit of a history of uh, you know maybe not closing out games in in, in the best way. Uh, but look at that completion percentage for Marcus Mariota, 74%, one touchdown, no interception. Um, Stafford did get sacked six times last week, so uh, maybe look to capitalize on that. But we are ready to get going here in week two with the Rams getting the ball first. Um, looking for a good game, looking to bounce back. Uh, even, that, even that record of one and one would be a great outcome for this week as they take a touchback. You see Matt Stafford, 20 of 40 last week for 230, uh, two tutties and a pick. Um, so sack six times and a pick, you know, didn't light it up last week. Um, I forget who they opened the season with. I, maybe it was the Chiefs, which is a tough draw. All right, first and 10 here for the Rams. We are going to be using Evans for a little bit here at the start. We're bringing some pressure. And DJ Reed makes the tackle. So short gain of eight yards. Second and two now. Let's let's get over the as we get a big stop down in the middle there. Third and one. Third and one here. We are going to press a little bit. Try to get up in their faces. Avoid a, a clean look, and we miss the tackle in the backfield to stop them on third down. That's on me. That's on no player. That's that's just on myself. Uh, Blondin needs to be better there. Uh, can't can't blame the players. The so first and ten after the missed tackle. We need to get off the field in these third downs, I'm telling you. They're, they're killing us so far. As Cooper Cup gets a little gain of six there. Last week, seven catches, 97 yards, two touchdowns. Again, Cooper's going to get his. Um, obviously, we do want to keep him out of the end zone there. Uh, but he's going to get his catches. He's going to get his yards. It's just, you know, how much does he actually hurt us? How much can we limit him uh, from putting points on the board? All right, second and four here. We're going to flip it out to Cup. And AJ Terrell is not able to make the tackle. Uh, those tackle battles are tough, you know. It's, it seems a lot, a lot of RNG, uh, not a lot of skill. So we got another third down here. Uh, let's go with a little bit of zone in our nickel package. Again, we're going to get up tight on on the receivers here. As Michael Walker just lets Higby go, and David Edwards is down for the Rams. So first and 10 after the Higby catch here. As Rashawn Evans able to come up and make the tackle, but there is a flag, let's check that out. It's going to be a hold against the Rams. Um, holding will kill drives, so let's accept that, move them back to first and 18 there. First and 18 for the Rams. We're gonna hand it off to Darnell. And Isaiah Oliver able to come up and make a nice play to hold them to just a gain of four. Second and 14, they are going with an empty set. And we're able to break it up. AJ Terrell with a great play. I don't know who that receiver was. Um, able to have some good coverage there in some zone. Third and 14, we are gonna guess pass here. Let's see if we can get a stop. That'd be huge. And they just check it down the cup, and we're able to come up and make the tackle. Big first drive stop for the Falcons there. They're going to be out of field goal range, so we're going to be able to get the ball. No points on the board. 
All right, so Falcons ball here at the 16-yard line after the punt went out of bounds. Um, we are going to start off with a little movement on the ground here by Cordero, who breaks a tackle. Looks like a gain of seven or so. Eight, we'll take it. Last week, you know, 17 rushes. We definitely, uh, we definitely tried to run the ball. Not a lot going there, 51 yards. He did get into the end zone. Second and two, let's stay in this bunch formation and get Mariota on the run a little bit. Do have to watch out for Donald in these situations, but we have what looks to be Brian Edwards open over the middle. First down, Falcons. All right, first and 10 on the 44 here. Uh, Mariota's continued to impress me this season. Um, really doing a great job as Pitts. And Mary, as just as I'm singing Mariota's praises, he airs one uh, to a wide open Pitts. That's pretty frustrating. So now we got second and 10. Uh, I don't know if we're in the balls the right play here. as we throw an interception. Pretty bad decision on my part. I thought Corderell was gonna have a little bit more space there. That's not what we wanna see. Yeah, I mean, I could have been more patient. I guess I'm a little antsy to get the ball out. First and 10 for the Rams here. As Higby is wide open, Richie Grant comes up to make a play. It is going to be a first down, though. There is no one in the same zip code as him. All right, first and 10 after the Higby catch. Let's see if we can get him in a spot here as Anderson cannot break through the wide, but Jalen Hawkins able to come up and make a nice play uh, to no gain. These young linebackers are playing pretty well for, for the Falcons. Um, it's, it's been good to see they're flying around, flying around the football as we cannot make a tackle there. Darnell gets free in the secondary for a big game. It's going to be first down for the Rams at the 11-yard line. First and 10, we're going to send a little pressure here. Got the run, cannot wrap up. Man, we need to start tackling better. What is going on? Second and four. We're going to run a little toss to Brown. And we are going to stop them and force a third down here. Lorenzo Carter making the play from across the formation. Pretty quick. All right, we are going to sell out for the run here on third and one at the goal line. Uh, hope for the best. As we cannot stop them, Darnell Henderson goes into the end zone. That's going to be a Rams touchdown. Falcons going down early here after the pretty brutal interception. Uh, more on me than, than, than Marcus, but uh, that's why we always pick win the turnover battle because uh, that's what happens. You turn the ball over, you give them three points. Defense made a great stop opening drive of the game. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to capitalize, give the ball right back. All right, first and 10 for the Falcons at the 20-yard line here. Let's see if we can make a little something happen. This quarter out cannot break free. It's going to be second and six. I kind of like pits up the middle here. Let's see what Bobby Wagner does. As Pitts cannot make the catch, safety come over top. All right, faced with a third down here. Um, do not want a three and out after giving up some points here. Uh, need to be able to convert as we should have. That is Zacchaeus there in the slot being able to make the grab for the first down. But I like running out of these bunch formations here. Uh, usually kind of, you know, as we get a little seam, Corderell able to take it up for about eight yards. So good start for Corderell. Three rushes, 20 yards here. Let's uh, let's let's continue pounding the rock here. A little bit of strong, get Keith Smith involved in the game. But that is going to take us into the second quarter here. Um, you know, good first quarter besides the interception. We're getting the ball on the ground, running a little bit, which is good. Um, but you need, need to get some points. All right, Falcons with a second and two here. Uh, Donald's playing end, which I, I don't really like there. Let's see if we can kick this outside. And we cannot. Hollins makes the tackle for a loss. So that's going to be a third and four. Again, Falcons face with a third down. Just cannot get stuff going. So we're on a little play action on third down here. Uh, Bird, you know, safety's down in the box. Bird might get open if you have the time to throw it. But we are not going to. That is going to be Hollins again with the sack. So two TFLs for Hollins in the last two plays. Falcons offense looking pretty rough. And that play action, um, they're bringing pressure. The play action is not going to be there. I tried to get out early, but um, 
we're faced with another punt. Stafford going to hand it off to Henderson. And we cannot wrap up. I do not know where the help is. That might be kind of the defend medium pass maybe hurting us here a little bit on the, with the running game. These holes are wide open for Darnell. And Darnell's, you know, he's fine. He's not, you know, he's not a guy that you're going to game plan for. First and ten. Jalen Hawkins able to wrap up, limit the game there. That is pretty big. Second and seven. Let's play as this uh, this robber. It's a nice little route design. They get the ball to A Rob for the first down. A Rob, someone in real life, really not doing much this season. Uh, a lot of buzz coming out of camp, but I just hasn't really been able to make a connection with Stafford so far. All right, first and ten. Rams are driving here. There is just gaps and gaps and gaps for Donald to run through. Nine carries, 61 yards. Still six minutes left in the first. It's going to be a handoff to Cup. We are going to sniff that right out. No gain, third and three. All right, we got the Rams in the third down here. Um, we're in a nickel package. Cover three. As Anderson cannot keep up with Cooper Cup. That's going to be another first down. Falcons defense not looking good. Stafford, 9 of 10 already. Um, but limiting Cup somewhat. Four catches for 17 yards. Not really hurting us downfield. And, I mean, there's just no one there. I think I went with, with Michael Walker when I wasn't supposed to. Uh, got me on the play action. But they're going to go in a goal line formation. It's going to be first and goal. Uh, let's let's sell out for the run here. If they get us, they get us, but uh, we, we need to make a little stop. As we get a big sack, that is Arnold Ebikete with the tackle for loss there, bringing him down to the eight-yard line. Um, play action in your goal line formation, and, and you have run commit on, and he is just flying to Stafford. Uh, good to see the rookie get a sack. Maybe there's a, a breakout game for, for Arnold here in the future. All right, another man look for us here in inside the 10. It's going to be second and goal after the sack. And Higby's not going to be able to go anywhere. Jalen Hawkins on the tackle. That's a little bit of a goal line stand here for the Falcons. Let's see if we can hold him to a field goal uh, as Zimmer has some leg cramps here. Uh, let's, let's sub out Anderson. And it's going to be third down. We are going to run a little bit of man. Let's run underneath, get Michael Walker going, and what is Jalen Hawkins doing there? Touchdown, Van Jefferson. Uh, Falcons are going to go down two scores here um, pretty early. we, we got to get some points on the board. And the Rams do get the extra point. Ten plays, 70-yard drive. Uh, just really no resistance from the Falcons here. we got to figure out what's going on on the defensive side of the ball. Um, I knew we'd be, you know, not the best unit out there, uh, but... This is, uh, this is pretty brutal, especially when the offense isn't going. Agnew's going to take it out. There's a little bit of a seam here. He cannot hit it, though. going to be 22-yard line. Falcons ball. All right, first and 10. We need to get um, we need to get some stuff going here. We're going to find Ferkser down there for the first down. All the momentum on the Rams side. We need some points before halftime. As we get drilled as we throw the ball, we are very lucky that was not intercepted. Man, the the pass rush is just getting to us. I think it's not a lot of time to throw the ball. We got to get the ball out quick. As we find Demir Bird over there for the first down. Nice little return route. First and ten at the forty-seven here. As what a horrible throw by Marietta. Oh, when we got when we have guys open, uh, we need to be able to hit them. Uh, that is a prerequisite for the quarterback position. We had a good man look on the crossing route, not able to convert there. Facing with a second and ten, we are just getting pummeled. All right, third and ten. We're gonna block Corderell. Hopefully, kind of slow them down a little bit. Um, this is looking like potentially like a cover three, cover four. Um, we might have pits there. We're able to thread the needle. Great pass by Mariota there to find the unicorn, Kyle Pitts. 
Uh, love Pitts's game. Just phenomenal player. And that's going to bring us to the two-minute warning here. Um, so Falcons down 14 nothing, but we are driving. Uh, this is one of my favorite plays to run here, man. Uh, Cordarelli usually finds himself wide open, but we do have a too high look, so um, we're not going to sleep on London being open as he is able to make the catch over the middle. Drake London coming up big. First time we've heard from him this game. Uh, he had a big game in week one. Uh, I think six catches over 100 yards, so I uh, need to get him involved as well. No, no shortage of options here on, on the Falcons' offense, really, to be honest with you. As Mary is going to keep it. And is he able to get in? He does. Mariota with the rushing touchdown. Demir Bird is hurt. That is not good. But uh, great run by Mariota. Using the legs a little bit. We need to continue doing that. Like He's such a, such a good threat on the ground. Uh, we need to capitalize on that. Not make him a pocket passer. But we're going to cut the lead uh, to 7 points here. With a minute 25 left in the first half. Look at Stafford. 6-6 six six last drive. 52 yards. Even with the game plan, uh, defending medium pass, not really able to do much of a fight. The mere bird breaks his ribs. I wonder how long that is. All right, it's a little minute drill here for the Rams. Hopefully we can get a stop. Isaiah, oh, Isaiah Oliver gets wrecked. <laughs> Jeez. Second and one after Isaiah Oliver took one on the chin. Rams are going to take a timeout here, which is a little bit weird. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Rams come out in an empty set on second and one. Again, pretty dangerous down in distance. Uh, playbook's wide open. You can kind of take a shot and not be too worried. As Michael Walker is going to get wrecked again. Man, we need to focus on tackling in practice. What is going on with our tackling? We are just getting tossed aside. First and ten, we're going to show a little pressure. Uh, you know, As we get there, that is going to be Lorenzo Carter with a sack. So two sacks on the day for the Falcons. Um, didn't I was so focused downfield didn't even see the Menzo Carter breaking free let's see and he just goes untouched uh, haven't signed just not able to make a play doesn't even touch him and we're not going to call our timeouts it's you know if this runs out and we're able to keep this to a 14-7 a game as Michael Walker gets there on the user sack on the blitz uh, Michael Walker continuing to impress three sacks now for the Falcons we are going to call a timeout actually um, kind of make them third and 31 uh, so why not you know hopefully get a punt return all right third and 31 here they're probably going to just hand the ball off I would assume as we're not able to get there but we do get the stop so let's call our second time out here 18 seconds left see if we can't make something happen on, on a punt return good to see the Falcons defense kind of standing up there two big sacks um, always helps when you get pressure on, on the quarterback especially Stafford as Corderell is not going to have a lane here. 33-yard line, 9 seconds. Um, you know, I don't want to make a, a mistake here. We get ball to start to start the half. That's going to be the first half here. So able to cut the lead in half from, um, you know, down 14 and just down a touchdown. We get the ball. Um, a turnover hurt us there. But what we got? 22 offensive snaps, 94 passing yards for the Falcons in the first half. Getting it going through the air a little bit, besides the interception. All right. Falcons ball to start the second half. We are going to get a return here. Let's see our, our big trade. Jamal Agnew getting free a little bit up to the 30-yard line, so pretty good return. And you notice that momentum uh, meter at the top there. Ram started out with pretty much that at full, at maximum, um, but now... You know, just a little bit favoring the Rams. Let's see if we can't get a little bit of momentum. All right, first and 10 for the Falcons. There's not much going there. I, I want to stay committed to the run. I, I don't want to abandon the run, but when you get a gain of two on first down, it does make it tough as Pitts is, isn't able to keep the block there. No gain. It's going to be third down and eight. Uh, need a conversion. Let's see if we can't find Pitts. Again, our big third down target as he looks open. He's going to come back, not able to make the catch. Mary to stat line looking pretty bad right now. Uh, 6 of 13 for 100 yards. And the Falcons are going to have to punt here. Not what we wanted to come out the half, make a statement. Um, you know, running game is just really not there. Like we're, we're trying to be committed to the run, but at some point we've got to try to win the game. All right, let's see this Falcons defense make a little stand here. Give our offense the chance to get the ball back. 
Lorenzo Carter makes the tackle. Again, gain of seven, just gashing us for seven yards a carry. First and ten here for Stafford and the Rams. They're going to drop back to pass. It's going to be a screen, and he just throws it into the ground. A lot of pressure there. Uh, not sure who it was, uh, but good to get at least you know, a neutral play there, finally. Second down. Another screen. They go back-to-back -back screen play calls, and we cannot make the tackle. It's going to be another first down. Stafford, 16 of 18 so far. We need to change up what we're doing on defense or something. I mean, this just isn't working. We're not able to get stops. As we make a huge stop. I think cover one might be like the play. I mean... Got me on play action. All right, third down and 10. We're gonna send a little bit of pressure here at Stafford. Hope to disrupt him. As that, what a block downfield. Not able to make the stop. Cooper Cup getting to us now. First and 10. We're just going to flip it out to Cup and Michael Walker there to loss of five on that play. Big stop by Michael Walker. I think we might get a, a Michael Walker breakout game pretty soon. I mean, he has a sack this game, he has a TFL. Um, need to maybe get involved with the interception, but uh, we might be able to see that come through pretty soon here. Because they're just killing us in the flats. First and 10, just outside the red zone for the Rams. Jalen Hawkins not able to keep up with Van Jefferson in coverage. Not good when you have to say your DB's name and can't keep up with Van Jefferson. I feel like Anderson might need to get in the throwing window there a little bit. We found ourselves in this position too many times this game already. As Lorenzo Carter gets home for another sack, half a sack. Uh, him and Marlon Davidson able to get home. So Sean McVay thinking, you know, let's just drop back on the one yard line not hand it off to the running back who's getting seven yards of carry. Third down, I'm not liking the way that this our offense is lining up, but as Cooper Cup, we cannot let Cooper Cup get that wide open. Come on. Rams get the easy touchdown. I mean, Cooper Cup's maybe the one guy that you really want to keep eyes on. You know, if Van Jefferson beats us, so be it. But 13 plays, 75-yard drive. Stafford just 8 for 9. Doing what he wants to at any given time. All right, it's going to be Falcons ball after the return to the 19-yard line. We need points. We need points bad. So we need to... Uh, we need to start moving down the field here. We're going to sprinkle in some runs, but at the end of the day, it hasn't really been a too effective for us. Pitts is open over the middle. Good catch by him. First and ten. Let's see what uh, what Corderell could do here. Running to Donald's side, and that is not a great idea to run to Aaron Donald's side. Um, we're trying here. Like we, we want to be balanced. We want to be a balanced team. We want to have success on the ground, but uh, it's just it's not working for us. I, I don't know what else. To do. There's no one open. Let's just get rid of that ball. They eat that up in coverage. Third and 13. Um, if we can get it close, I just, this is a go situation in my mind. As that is a horrible throw from both myself and Ritter. That is going to go in the hands of Jalen Ramsey. And we're going to have our second turnover of the game here. It's pretty brutal. Way behind Drake London, who I was trying to go to on the backside big. Rams are going to get the ball. Short little throw of cup there for two. Michael Walker, the free rusher. Cooper Cup breaks free. That's going to be a big first down. Pretty pathetic so far by the Falcons. Not really much to, uh, to, to be positive about. Defense isn't making stops. Offense... Uh, not able to string together too many drives. Pretty poor performance so far. I uh, thought we'd in week two be able to turn around, but uh, this is not looking good. Still got time though. Not losing hope, but. We just need a turnover or something. 
get it going. They have all the momentum in the world right now. We need, we need, a, we need a turnover. We need a fumble. Even holding them to a field goal here feels like a huge win for this Falcons defense. I don't know if that should have been completed, Madden. I think I think Terrell's right there. As someone get home to Stafford. Oh my gosh. You can't let him have this much time. What is that? Our line just got absolutely stood up there. Just trying to get off by a user, but like, man. All right, third and six after the... And Terrell not able to keep up with Higby in coverage. That's going to be another Rams touchdown. Falcons looking bad. We're looking really bad. This is uh, kind of what we thought the defense would look like in real life at the uh, beginning of the year. I mean, Terrell's fantastic. Though. Like, there's just no reason that Higby should be running away from AJ Terrell. I don't really understand that. Rams fans having a blast. Get out of here. So this is a spot where you could make the argument like, let's let's see what Ritter has. Um, I don't know if we're quite ready to do that. Um, we're going to take off of Mariota. Just get down. And I thought Zacchaeus is going to keep going. He stops. Third and two here. Need it. Does Cordero get there? It's going to be first down. Thank goodness. Something goes our way. We're going to ride with Mariota, though. I, it's, it's, I think it's too early to say this is Mariota's fault. There's some... There's some user error here, too, as London is going over the middle. But Ramsey in the zone undercuts it for another interception. That is now three for Mariota, two for Ramsey. Man. The wheels are falling off. I thought London was going to be able to kind of beat him on that in route there. Ramsey had other plans. Undercuts the route. Interception. First and 10, Los Angeles Rams after the pick. Grady Jarrett able to make a nice tackle for loss in the backfield. Grady's kind of the emotional anchor of this defense. You know, he doesn't get his name called too often, but, you know, is someone that, again, like, Epper doesn't always show up on the stat sheet. As Rashawn Evans on the user sack. Uh, luckily, play action there, wasn't able to get it off. We're able to get some pressure, you know? Like, it's not all... It is mostly terrible. It's not all terrible, though. Um, we're able to get, you know, some sacks on Stafford. He got sacked six times last week as Henderson is going to run free in the middle there, close to a first down. It's going to be fourth and two. They're going to go for it. Classic Sean McVay here. Um, let's get up tight. Underneath coverage, uh, let's pinch our D-line here. Let's try to get a big fourth down stop, maybe change a little bit of momentum as no one is going to be there. That is going to be a huge gain. No help on the outside. I definitely think moving forward, um, defend medium is, is not going to be the play for us. Uh, just too much going in, in the run game. They got cup in the backfield here. And Isaiah Oliver not able to make a play. This is getting ugly here. 35-7. This is going to be to avoid injury, but let's see what Ritter can get us here. Uh, you know, let's let's give the rookie a chance. We're obviously not going to win this game. Um, we want to give him, you know, at least a little shot here. I'm going to put Corderell on a little flat route there, gets a quick gain of four. We'll let Ritter operate this a little bit, get some passes going, see what he can do. As he finds Pitts, great throw over the top of Bobby Wagner. First and 10 after the pretty sweet throw and catch. And Ritter to Pitts. We're gonna get it to Corderell. Continue to hurry up, Ritter three for three. Um, let's do this play here. Slot post. As London does a great job just batting down the ball, Ritter got hit on the release. We're going to find ourselves in yet another third down stop here as Corderell's open over the middle. Nice throw, and Corderell's breaking free. Able to find some space there. 
Great job by Ritter, just holding on to the football, uh, delivering the ball when he knows he's going to get hit. We have Ferks here over the middle there. So Ritter ejecting some life into this Falcons offense. Two minute warning, Falcons down 35-7. This is not how I thought this game would go. Uh, getting a good look at Ritter though. He's played well. Oh, and the pump fake. Trying to throw it to Pitts there, user error. Do a little weird pump fake to Pitts. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a sack. Ritter needs to get rid of the ball. As this time we are able to find London over the middle on that in-breaking route. It's gonna be third and goal. Obviously a go situation here if we're not able to get the ball in the end zone. Looks like they're not bringing pressure and Ritter just able to get rid of it right as he gets hit. So fourth down and goal. As we find Zacchaeus wide open over the middle for the Falcons touchdown. So maybe a little bit of a quarterback controversy brewing here in Atlanta. Ritter looking really good. Um, as we shouldn't celebrate like that. We're down 35 to 14. Come on team, let's go back to the sideline. Back please. 10 play, 79 yard drive for Ritter. Um, seven for nine, 86 yards and a touchdown. So um, this could be interesting. I think, you know, small sample size, but Ritter looked great on that drive. Um, if you think Ritter should start, let me know in the comments down below. Um, let's see if we can get some input here. Would love y'all's input as, as we go through this franchise, you know, some decisions, you know, try to figure out some personnel where we should invest uh, moving forward. Daryl Henderson, 140 yards. Man, we are we are making MVPs. There's like always a funny thing with the Falcons in, in real life where it's like every player who's, you know, worth anything always has a highlight reel against the Falcons. Um, it's a surefire thing. Like if they're doing, you know, top 100, you know, and you have some wide receiver, they're always going to show a clip of the Falcons uh, getting burnt. It's just the way it is. They're going to hand the ball off again. We're going to be able to get a stop, force a third down. Let's let's take a timeout. Van Jefferson got hurt last play, which caused the clock to stop. So uh, maybe we can get one more look at Ritter here before we uh, pack our bags, fly back east to Atlanta. Really wanted to win this game for everyone. It's uh, pretty tough as we are able to get the stop. Let's take our second timeout here, force a punt. Little pride drive here. As we are gonna just throw it away. Just trying to see if maybe Ritter could get the corner there. Get some rush get some rushing yards. He is pretty quick, I would say. I like out of that pocket. He felt good. Ritter able to get the ball away, but it's gonna fall incomplete. Kind of hurting the stat line here a little bit. Let's try one more, third down. We're going to block Corderell, see if we can be able to hang in there a little bit, deliver a throw. We do have Pitts. He's able to make the great catch. We are running out of time here. I should have called the timeout. We're just going to bomb deep. Hope for the best. As Ritter gets hit. What a sad way to end the game. 35-14 uh, is going to be the final in Los Angeles. I really could get nothing going uh, on, on offense. Defense couldn't stop a nosebleed. Pretty pathetic showing, really, to be honest with you, in week two. Um, a game that you want to be competitive in. You know, I don't think we're necessarily supposed to win. Uh, I believe the Rams were like a 10-point favorite. Uh, but, you know, I want to keep it a little bit closer than that as Ritter gets the nod for Battle of the Quarterbacks. 9-14, uh, a passing touchdown. Didn't look bad. Um, so again, like, let me know in the comments what you think, you know, Ritter or Mariota moving forward. Uh, so we got Stafford, 28 of 31, 241 and four touchdowns. Absolute monster game. We cannot let opposing quarterbacks do that to us. Mariota, under 50% completion, uh, zero touchdowns, three interceptions. That is pretty brutal. Uh, Ritter comes in, eight of 13, 101 yards and a touchdown in garbage time. 
uh, 7.7 yards per attempt there. Uh, Henderson, big game for the Rams. Again, we just we let the Rams do whatever they want to do. Let's look at this team stats real quick. Yeah, 335 yards total offense, 136 on the ground, 199 through the air, 22 first downs. I mean, just complete domination from the Rams. We need to put up a better fight on defense. Um, maybe there's something we can do as far as a trade to maybe bolster the defense. But, you know, truthfully, the Falcons aren't in a position to compete for a playoff spot. So we don't want to give up too much capital here. Cup, 9 of 55 and a touchdown. Higby really crushed us with two touchdowns there. Let's see how the Falcons did. Uh, Pitts, 4 for 70. Uh, pretty good. London, 2 for 35. Pretty quiet game for London after a big week one. But yeah, that's uh, not the outcome that we wanted. Just from the start, Rams took control of the game. Take a look at our goals here. Uh, didn't hit the 300 offensive yards. Definitely lost a turnover battle. Allowed more than 24 points. We didn't get an interception. Uh, so <laughs> nothing going there. One staff point there. Uh, we do get a player upgrade here. Let's just put this into power rusher. Um, haven't seen Ojanuji on the field too often, really, to be honest with you, so I'm not sure where that is coming from. Uh, we do have one injury. Let's check it out. It's going to be Demir Burr with broken ribs. Going to be out four weeks, um, so going to miss a month of time. Not ideal, uh, but again, you know, not, not a huge difference maker for us on offense. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for, for week two of Falcons franchise, uh, drop to Owen two on the season. We're going at Seattle, uh, next week to play Geno Smith and the Seahawks. Um, hopefully we can turn it around, you know, with, with the Seahawks, with the, with the Browns, um, be able to get something going, you know, pull even the two and two, maybe don't want to look too far ahead, but we got to get it going here. Um, defense has got to get it going. Offense has got to get it going. Um, so yeah. Let me know in the comments again, uh, Mariota or Ritter, who's your, who's your vote? Um, and yeah, I appreciate everyone watching, tuning in. Remember, like and subscribe. Thanks for checking out. We'll catch you next time.